you know, I, when we came back I was going to make a dumb joke about the succubus and being able to rotate her so you're facing the back, but then I realized, look at her right shoulder blade. I mean, with how many personas this game probably has, I'm willing to bet that a lot of the, these things are... Let's not give them too much trouble over it, because this is probably a big game, right? There's an awful lot to deal with. They can't cover everything. But yeah. Anyhow, greetings and salutations everyone. I'm Mecha Mac. This is Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers. Hmm. I'm slightly broke. Please let me have things in. I could sell. Oh. Pop dress Unun July Macaron Cannon. We do have a few things to send. Hmm. Anyhow, we are definitely tapped, so. Hmm. I think that's actually the slight problem. The early game is ever so slightly strenuous with how little you have to work with. Maybe it gets better. We're definitely like an SP adhesive. The only son, the only tie to Kemi was around. Hmm? Get off. Let's get to work. Anyhow, did I introduce myself? I think I did. Go to destination. So we're still allowed to explore. I guess go to destination is the equivalent of sending a calling card. Mm -hmm. don't have punch. <laughs> yeah, what Futaba said. Have you know how it comes up with better hunches than humans do? Speaking of, you have a moment. We need to find whatever it is that this is part the barrack. Uh, not in good position money wise. Not a good position at all. Yeah, that's going to be what keeps me from playing as everyone. I'm fine at leveling up everyone experience wise, but the lack of money hurts. We buy out everything in Shibuya. That's it. We're just going to buy out everything there, and then we're going to get on with the plot. Hmm. Maybe I picked the wrong destination, actually. Oh yeah, we actually got our information from Zenigata, de from Detective Zenigata, the extremely shady guy who we don't trust in the least, and Haru is quite happy to torment him for us by saying so with Hi, a cute well, smile. That's a popular choice. Thank you. Zip, that's a popular choice. Thank you. Zip, that's a popular choice. Thank you. I have to wonder what they think when they see me rush in and buy everything that isn't nailed down. What can I get for? You'd like to order that? Thanks for waiting. You'd like to order that? Thanks for waiting. See you again. We are broke, Morgana. I've used up everything. Okay. 
Yeah, now, now more than ever, I miss those humongous funds that I got from the metaverse in Persona 5. I was regularly money capped in Persona 5 Royale, and I don't think that was even at the final dungeon. Let's check out the destination! I also realized that I actually picked up an Andrus and a Succubus. This is right. I'm not seeing anything weird. But uh, they aren't fused ones, so they don't have the power boost, so I'm probably going to release them and uh, fuse to get them later. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. Getting nostalgic? I suppose so. Even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. She went to a lot of effort to keep that under wraps then. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> Well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Hope that we aren't in a bad position when we get in there. This is not the birdcage. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious? Why are you still alive? She's gonna turn into a monster for us to beat down, isn't she? I guess it's sort of final guard for the cage. The room's also changed. Are these prison cells? No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movement and respond to the time. It's over. <laughs> Why 
Whoa, where'd Haru's health go? Haru kind of got obliterated. Okay. Oh, thank you. I really should have been a bit more careful about who I brought in, but then everyone's about the same. There. This one. Curse, you see. Persona! Jackalanta! Blackhorn! Andres! Succubus! Arsene! Oh man, he is not taking much hits, is he? Whoa, where are these hits coming from? Oh darn it, I was about to item and get Yusuke back on his feet. Didn't work. It'd be nice if you could swap party members in and out in battle like you could before, but I guess that would be way too... Definitely in a lot of trouble.
Oh dear, she is out of bullets. This had better bust on a lot of those shields. Hit him three more times, but the problem is that's not really going to. Ow! Wow! Ooh. Not yet. That is not nice. I'm not going to have any items left because. Is that really the only damage we're going to do to this jerk? Really? I really should have had him alive earlier. Bang Burger. I think the fact that he keeps turning invisible is actually exceptionally dirty. And dark. Fire and wind. Take this. Fire. Don't forget the ball of Yeah. 
Back off, back off. Backing. And they come in just as I take them out. Are set. Here. Mind blowing as always. Magnificent Joker. All learns of it. I see you, Ske. I see you, Ske. Much thanks. Much thanks. Certainly made an entrance. Only 800 experience. I do appreciate the end of. Technical adept. Increased damage for technical hits, which is sort of her best method at the moment, so that's very nice. Darn it, so close to Bond. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point! The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it! Praise accepted. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. I do have to wonder whether that humming is going to be anything significant. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card, take back those desires. Yeah, it does seem like this isn't your standard to palace entry. And I'm assuming there's going to be a reason for that, obviously. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. 
Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. So there's no way of guaranteeing that she isn't going to just keep doing it once and we return everything. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. Anne is very pumped about this, apparently. I know that's the dangerous approach, but if you guys are all up for it, I want to rescue Alice too, not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it, because of all the bullying in her past. I mean... Doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've gotta say it's possible. With the palaces, it was a moment of a extreme desire or something of generating a lot of pride in them that caused their views of everything else to distort. So in this case, it could be that the trauma has caused her views to distort, of others to distort in such a way that she really wants to go dominatrix on them. There, there are stranger tales out there, I suppose. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Because you share a dream? That could be. I just can't believe she was lying when she said that. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario? Just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. As long as it's not our address, go right ahead. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia! Awesome! All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. For anything you forgot to do, make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once we send the calling card, there's no backing out. 
Ooh boy, that's a thing we're going to have to do later, and I think I might actually do a bit of off-screen work. Coco, what are you selling? There's some grinding for items, and maybe so I can... Like, I want to burn the per... I want to burn the Andrus and the Hello, Succubus personas and uh, create them anew. Awaken your new self. Also, what? It seems that it can gain new power. Interesting. Choose which skill. Oh, uh, whatever. Is this the persona? Now, let us This begin. is just my way of getting them out of my decks. I want uh, I want to try and do some better things like Hang on, I want to make better Andrus and Succubus, which probably means I'm going to make a better Hua Po later. But that'll be later. I'm probably going to do a bit of off-screen grinding as well, because... Turns out you need a lot of items to get through this. Until next time, guys, take care. We'll see you all around.